Now, oh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before you continue watching, please subscribe to my channel so that when I post any video, you can be able to have notification immediately. So today I tackle a question for December 2022. And this was a question on management accounting, which is a regression analysis. And mostly in your paper, management accounting is a specialization area. So it's an optional area where you have to choose a question from. So I'll read the question today. So the question read, Farmgate Company Limited produces and sells shovels. The company provides the following data for quantities of shovels produced and the related production cost for the calendar year 2021. We have month, the year is 2021. We have January up to December. Then we have quantity produced. Then we have units produced, units production cost in shillings. Huh? Yeah, then required, determine the variable cost per unit and the total variable costs using regression analysis. B, estimate the total production cost if the following number of units are produced. We have 100,000 units, 150,000 units, 200,000 units. Then they say include the lower and upper boundaries at 95% confidence intervals. Then but C, prepare a chart plotting the predicted Y versus the actual Y from the regression function determined A above. A is this one. Above, interpret your answer. That's too much. So this is how you are supposed to do this question. So whenever you are doing a question on regression, you have to ensure that you have the data analysis. Yeah, you have the data analysis. Yeah, so I'll do another video which will uh, teach you how to download this data analysis tool. So this is this is how you are supposed to view this question. So this is regression and regression. We know that the format for regression is always y equals to a plus b x, whereby in this case a y is the total production cost under this case. Then A is supposed to be the fixed cost. Then B is the variable cost per unit. Then X is the number of units, is the number of units. So like in this case now, X will be the quantity produced, while Y will be the production cost, will be the production cost. Let me just extend this. Yeah, Y will be the production cost in, in shillings. So first, before you do any question on regression, you have to look at the aspect of the regression equation, which is y is equal to a plus bx. And I've explained that a is the fixed cost, b is the variable cost per unit, then x is the number of units. Yeah, so part a, determine the variable cost per unit and the total variable costs using regression analysis. And that was six marks. So this is how you are supposed to do it. Just come to that term. Will come to data and you go to data analysis term. Yeah, then it will give you so many tools, analysis tools. So you look for regression. Yeah, so I'll just go to regression. Then I say okay. Yeah, so once there's regression, there's a window that opens up. So they're telling you to input the y range. And I told you according to this question, this question, y is represented by the production cost per unit. So I'll input the Y range. So this is what I'll do. I'll select from here all the way. Yeah, then I've just selected the, the Y range. Then I'll go to the X range. X, I say that it represents the number of units produced, the quantity produced this one. So I'll just come here and select all the way. Then, uh, yeah, in the, in that question, they're saying we include the lower and upper boundary. So I just include the confidence level at 95%. Then the output range is where now we want your data to appear, your data to appear. So you just come here and uh, select the confidence level. Then I'll say the output range and select that. Then I'll click, yeah. So I, I want my data to appear somewhere here at this end. So I just click that cell, yeah. 
So residual no no more probability, not that important. So I just say okay. So when once I say okay, the data will appear here. The data will appear here. So let me just extend here. So this is my summary output. So you can see the multiple R is 0 0.9, which is that's also known as the correlation coefficient. The R square is the coefficient of determination. Then you have the adjusted R. Then you have the standard error. Then you have observations. Yeah, so observation will guide you. Huh? The observations are 12. So those are the number of months. And you can even confirm from this point that's from January to December, there are 12 months. Then we have the ANOVA table where we have the regression. Uh, DF, huh? this is the degree of freedom. Then you have residual DF, the residual degree of freedom. Then we know that regression DF plus residual DF is, all, is equal to the total DF. Then we also have the significance F values are there. So I'll just go to question because uh, to answer the question, they're saying determine the variable cost per unit. And they say the variable cost per unit is represented by B. So B is this one. This is B. Yeah, it's X variable one. So it means that it's a variable of X. So it means that is the B is now represented by this. So the variable cost per unit to this answer will be this equals to then I'll just pick this. Yeah, so this will be variable cost per per unit. And the total variable cost using regression analysis. So they want the total variable cost and now this is what i will do because we know that the total variable cost will be the variable cost per unit times the number of units so i just come here and say total variable cost so when i come there we know that the total variable cost will be b x so it will be b times x so this is what i will do i just say b is this one and uh, as you can see, it's constant, huh? it's constant. So I just lock it because it won't change. So I just lock it completely with an F4. Then I'll multiply by the number of units, which is X now. Yeah, because BX represents the total variable cost. So under X, I'll only lock the column of C so that when I drag to multiply, it will multiply automatically. So I lock the column C and enter. So once I enter that, then this means that I've multiplied this by this, by this, by C6. So when I drag, let me see. So I just drag all the way up to December. Yeah, and you can see the values change automatically. So that when I pick the December, you'll see it's it's uh, I20, which I locked completely, this one, times C17. Yeah, this is C17. This is C, 17, the number of units, yeah. So the total variable cost, I just come here and say equals to sum. I'll sum all this. I just say enter. Yeah, so the total variable cost was this. Let me just bold it. Let me bold it. Up. So when I bold it, that's the total variable cost, yeah. That's the total variable. So with that, you are done with part A. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's how you're supposed to do part A. So B, estimate the total production cost. The number of units are produced are 100 units, 150, and 200. So I just say units, because units is represented by what? By X. So this is what I will do. I just write 100,000. Then I'll come to 150,000 units. Then I'll come to 200,000 units. Yeah. So we have 100, 150, and, and those are the units. So the, the, the total production cost we say is Y. So Y is equal to A plus BX. And we know that this is B and this is A. The intercept is the A. Yeah. So this is how we, this is how we'll do it. I just come here and say, uh, because I want to estimate the production. So this is the production cost. Production cost, yeah. So I just come here and say equals to 
because we are finding y. So I'll pick a, which is this one. Then I'll add to bracket b. B is the number. We say that b is this one. So I'll pick this. Then I'll multiply by the number of units, which is this case is 100,000 units. And this is what I'll do. I'll lock, I'll lock the column. I'll lock this. Because I said this paper is all about speed. I'll lock that. Then I'll also lock this because this is constant. So I'll lock this completely. Let me see. Yeah. Then A is also constant because it's it's fixed cost. Yeah? So I'll also lock it completely. Then F4. Then I enter. Yeah, so I just say yes. So once I enter, let me drag all the way and see if it changes. Yeah, and the values change automatically. The values change automatically. So you'll find that under when at 100 units, the production cost will be oh, oh, 13 million for 94,853. Then this will be 18 million to 53,461. Then this will be 23 million, 12,070. Yeah, so that's how you are supposed to tackle this question. Yeah, that's how you are supposed to tackle this question. Yeah, so I'll go to, and they say we include the lower and upper boundary, which I did when I was running the, the ANOVA table. So I'll go to the last part, which is part C. They're saying prepare a chart plotting the predicted Y versus the actual Y from the regression function. So this is how we, what you do. We have the actual so i'll say actual yeah the actual so i'll say actual y and here i'll say the actual i'll say predicted sorry predicted predicted y yeah so actual y why you say that is the production Post. So this is what I'm doing. I'll just pick this. I'll copy the months. Control C. I'll just come here and paste. Control V. Yeah, then under actual. Actual is what we are given the question, the production cost. That's the actual Y. So I'll pick this. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me let me just say equals two. Let me just say equals two. Let me just say equals two. Pick that. Then I'll drag it on through. Yeah, so the values will just copy automatically up to the last which is 36. So I'll go to predicted y. And predicted y is what we'll predict using this question. So my predicted y will be equals to, this is what I'll do. I say equals to, because it's y, a, a is this, uh -huh, plus bx. So I'll say bracket, then I'll go to b. I'll go to b, and b is also b is here. Then I'll multiply it by the number of units because that's what we are predicting. So the number of units in this case is now the quantity produced. So I'll pick this. Yeah. And because I want to spare on time, I'll lock this completely because that's fixed cost. It's constant. So I'll lock it completely. I'll also lock the variable cost per unit because it's also constant. So I'll lock it also with the F4. But I only lock the column for units. I only lock the columns for units produced. Yeah, then I close the bracket. Then I enter. Yeah, so once I enter, this is the values that I will have. I'll have now have 18 million, 253, 461. For how many units? For 150,000 units. Yeah, so because I want to get the values for all these units, eh, the production cost for all these units. So I just have to drag because I've locked everything. So I just drag on through. So when I drag, the values copy automatically. So I have the actual Y and the predicted Y. So they're telling me to prepare a chart plotting uh, the predicted Y versus actual Y 
and determine the name above and the future answer. So this is what I'm do. I'm just select this. Then I just go to insert. Yeah, then I go to recommended because they wanted a chart. So I look for a good chart. Eh? So I can choose any. Let me see if I can do with that. Then I say okay. Yeah, then I'll go to the chat title. Then I say that predicted y versus actual y. I just write predicted y versus actual y. Yeah, just do that. Then I just click outside. Then the values will, will be there. So I'll just drag this graph, this chart, sorry. Let me, let me see if I can drag it down here. Yeah, so once once I've dragged it there, now you can see the predicted Y versus actual. You can see for January, the actual is in blue while predicted or predicted is on orange. So you can see, you can interpret, you can see for January, they're almost at the same level. Then when it comes to September, then the predicted Y was lower than the actual Y. Yeah, so this is what the, what was the examiner required. This is what the examiner required on this question. And you'll be able to get your full 20, 20 marks. You get your full 20 marks. So without much ado, I'll request to end there. Yeah. End the recording.